Hey there, how we doing? Uh, welcome back to whatever this is. So I'm just going to be playing a little game in the background to kind of um, farm it up so that I can get ready for the next recording session. In the meantime, we're just going to be talking about just uh, whatever, really. So I'm in a bit of a better mood today. Not as uh, downtrodden. I just happened to see my analytics and thought, oh, no one's seen this. But I think it's just that there are some people returning. It's not just just me watching this. I think there are some genuine people coming back. And to you people, my sincerest gratitude. Uh, you make my life all the, be all the better for existing. So thank you, sincerely. I thought it might be a good, good time to kind of set up what I'm going to do for this channel. I put this as the channel trailer. This highly uncurated, a bit messy, very sloppy and <laughs> probably poorly edited, future self, make note of this, um, video. This will be my channel trailer. But this is just representing me, you know, uh, not in really ag exaggerated persona or high energy or anything like that, just, just me having a chat. Seeing how everyone is, voicing my thoughts, my actual thoughts. So I thought, if we're keeping it real, let's talk about the channel, huh? Give a, a kind of timetable. So Mondays to Wednesdays, I operate one series, um, which at the moment is RimWorld. Thank you, friend. And then from Thursdays to Sundays I do another series, which at this point is Sunless Skies. If I have any time in between that, um, I'll do another video. Preferably I just do a, a random vid that, you know, from a random game that wouldn't make for a good series, but I do want to do a video on anything in my Steam library, really. Anything. So, you're about to see some entire games go up here. No, don't worry. Uh, I'm not that fucked up. What we do for views, though, hey? Yeah. Um. So that's it. And then once I finish a series... Oh, Sunless Skies. This is why I love you. So that's how it's going to go. Unless I have a free week off and there's a game that I just need to do. So if I've got a week off university or something, which isn't going to happen for a little while, then I might do an entire series like Sekiro in a week. Yeah. That was pretty hardcore. Didn't get much sleep that week on my week off. But you know what? It was amazing. Except for, you know, Ishin. He can take his three hands weapon sword, spear, and gun, and stick them up his ass. Fuck him, man. He's fun to fight, but fuck him. Uh, once I've finished a series, like, say, Rimworld, or Sunless Skies, or Sekiro, which is what I'm currently working on, I'll do a review of sorts. Just giving my thoughts on the game. Where some of the design was a bit wonky for me. And then that concludes the series and I will never look at the game again. It's closure. Like the death of a relative. That escalated quickly. Don't know why I said that. So, I suppose then, as this is the channel trailer... I should kind of talk about who I'm trying to appeal to. I'm not trying to appeal to anyone, I'm just trying to do my thing. But, you know, my thing is not for everyone. So, if you're 12 and under and you've come to this channel, um, good on you. Uh, I don't know if this is for you. If it is, lovely. Love to see you. Uh, but we're going to be playing some games very niche and probably pretty boring. I suppose that applies to everyone, not just younger generations. These are kind of the games I like and as you can see uh, when they're not highly edited 
not, not a lot's happening. And these are the games I enjoy. So, you know, I'll occasionally do something else on recommendation, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, so just be warned that that's kind of the way I operate. The knowledge I have on these games uh, is serviceable. I know enough to win the game. I know enough to create some vague strategies. But I haven't explored any of the games that I've played enough to to make a deep analysis of the complexities of the game. That's for reviews and that stuff later. Um, for now, you're just getting some layman, some random talk about the game and how he's he's succeeding with it. That's kind of what you're getting. I ain't no Hearthstone professional, so perfect example. Um, waste of dust. I I try to give a, a vague sense that I know what I'm talking about. The truth is, I know a bit, enough to survive, and that's it. And that's the story of our lives. So it's it just kind of. Uh, I'm not a, a pro by any means. I don't pretend to be. There are probably people better suited to that. I'm just here to have some fun. Have a good time with everyone. So, um, yeah. That's me. If you have any criticisms, don't feel that you can't say them. I'm a grown-ass man. You tell me something critical, I'll cry for two minutes, but no more than that. And then I'll change it and just make it better. Obvious problems. Uh, well, probably my mic. It's pretty good quality. It's just uh, it can sometimes be fuzzy and uh, not balanced right. It's my problem. It's just something I have to get used to doing nowadays. It's only been four months, eh? I, I have no obligation to, to know how to balance a mic after four months of using a mic and however many videos if you like this content I'll shill here give it a like comment and subscribe but I'm I'm not shilling here for the sake of it like it really 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 does help me a lot I very much appreciate it it gets a gives me a good old dupe dope dupe dopamine boost Makes me feel really good to, to see that someone's enjoyed it. If you haven't enjoyed it, um, and you feel that I could be better, no problem, man. So what are my plans for the future of this channel? Well, when RimWorld concludes in Sunless Skies, I'm going to do some games that are a bit easier to do. Like, I do very much enjoy both RimWorld and Sunless Skies. But for one thing, uh, they take a lot of time, and they aren't the most fascinating to watch. That's another thing. Um, the taking time, the, as much time as it does, though, is the only problem. It, it, the series RimWorld will probably go on to at least thirty parts or more, each, you know, ten minutes in length. But these 10 minutes in length have been edited down from sometimes one to three hour videos, you know? So it's, uh, it can be a very long process. So I'm going to find a series that requires a bit less of that for now. So I was planning on doing something like maybe, uh, yeah, Night in the Woods. I don't know if I've seen anyone who I, I very much enjoy as a YouTuber doing it. I'm sure Jap Scepter guys um, tackled it. Maybe Markiplier. Um, I don't think PewDiePie did it. So I just thought, you know what? I will. I will. Rain World is another one I want to do. Okay, we start again. Uh, let's not go that way this time. Let's go the other way. The other way. The other way. 
Rain World's a, a game that's quite niche. And I haven't played a whole lot of it either, so it's going to be a new experience for me. Uh, it's very, very hard and esoteric. That's probably why it's hard, is I don't understand any of what I'm seeing. I understand that I need to farm food, but what the... F what am I, how do you do that, and how do you kill these these goddamn enemies? And blah, 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 blah. Um, so that's another one I want to do. Maybe Steven's Sausage Roll. The only thing I don't like about puzzle games is that content-wise, they can be terrible. Sometimes a puzzle might take fucking years to complete, and that's, you know, absolutely fine. For me, if I'm sitting alone in a dark room, not producing content for anyone, but now that I'm producing content for everyone, uh, puzzle games like that, which stump me for ages, and I'm, I still have to fill my quota, they're just not as appealing. Uh, so I'd be up for doing one, but getting stumped and stuck, like I am with Sunless Skies right now, is the worst feeling. You don't even know, man. I really, really want to do Darkwood. The only thing with Darkwood is it's kind of a long game. Like, my average for completing the game, which I've done it twice, is 30 days. And each day might take, you know, 10 to 20 minutes. So it would be a bit of a longer series, but fuck man, I'd love to do it. Um, Gods Will Be Watching, that's kind of a, a quick game that I could do. Pretty fun. Just things like that, man. If you've never heard of any of these games, I really don't blame you, but they are good games. But that's kind of my plan, is I'm just going to do these indie games for a little while. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Um, I'll try them out. Hopefully they're free. If not, I suppose Steam, re the Steam refund policy is my friend. If you recommend porn to me, well... You might not see a playthrough, but thank you. Uh, yeah, did I mention that this channel is not really PG? I make a joke of it to say that I'm a very PG channel, but I'm I'm not. Uh, I like to tell very sociopathic, dark jokes some of the time. If they're really bad, don't worry, I've got you covered. Like, when I realize I've done this, I get on that shit quick. Uh, otherwise, I do it ironically. Like, I'm not, a t I'm not that bad of a human being. I'm not Logan Paul or Hitler. So, I understand where the line needs to be drawn, but I know sometimes I'm loath to, to say things which are controversial and a bit edgy. So, if you're a young man, just be warned. Like I, I don't think your parents would want you watching me. Oh yeah, I've set up another channel uh, with a friend of mine. I believe the name currently, as a working title, is "A Goat and Your Mum." I thought of calling it the Disney Channel. Yeah. It's not what you're thinking. It's not the Disney Channel, as in D I S N E Y, because then that would be infringing upon the actual Disney Channel, and we get sued. No, it was the D I S K N E E Channel, and then it would have a really derpy-looking Mickey Mouse or something like that as the profile picture. That's that's an alternative. I mean, it's it's terrible, but that's the point, right? And we're just going to put up some gameplay of that, hopefully sometime in the future, that, of just games we've done. I don't know how edited it will be, or anything. If I meet up with him again, I'll, I'll put something on there, um, let you know. We've just got a couple of these, these moments of losing our minds during Overwatch competitive. So many great moments that we've shared. Which I found out he was recording. Which can go up on the channel now, thankfully. And uh, I look forward to that. 
so look look out for that that's in the featured channel list on my YouTube channel uh, do I plan on doing some more like stream content something more in that vein uh, maybe maybe the only problem with that is you know you're listening to this video right now right and what do you think it's probably not as entertaining as my regular YouTube videos. Jesus Christ, you're fucking kidding me, man. Well, that was fun. Um, looks like we're taking a little journey back. Resume from last autosave. That is Sun the Skies, everyone. Um, I wouldn't certainly wouldn't be averse to it. It's just that I sometimes like to have control over my YouTube videos uh, over what I say and do because sometimes man I say some shit and I think oh boy that that I hope to God no one heard that and no one does because it never makes it into the video stuff that's too edgy for my ears like it cuts me deep and and I worry that if I were to just operate a normal stream like a a real human being I would do something that would be highly contentious. I mean, I suppose Lewis Brindley almost stripped naked on stream, so you could just about get away with anything, right, as a streamer. He's, he also almost, uh, he told the BBC a joke related to uh, autoerotic asphyxiation when they came over to interview him on the, the Humble Bundle. Granted, the man's losing his goddamn mind, but, you know. Uh, I don't want to lose my mind just yet. I'd like to leave that to dementia in a few year to years' time. Um, so, I wouldn't be averse to it. It would probably be a lot easier than doing this YouTube stuff and having to edit it. It just depends, man. It depends. I won't really tell you much about myself in real life because I want I want it to be known uh, for the record. To be stated for the record. Who I am on YouTube and who I am in real life are separate things, you know? So, when it comes to real life and YouTube, I kind of try and keep that separate. You know? So I, I'm not really going to tell you much about, like, the details of my real life. I'll do story times and all of that kind of thing. Um, because story times are fun, but the great thing about story time is they can remain anonymous, and I can you know, change around the details. Ooh. Yeah, I want it to be stated for the record as well. All of the story times I've said and will say are absolutely true. Turns out that real life is a lot more insane than I could dream up of. The things that happen, man, are sometimes just really fucking bizarre. Sure, I embellish details. I don't mean to, but, you know... We're not exactly objective creatures. I'm not. And I do like to, to keep it entertaining and light. Because if we, we told it like it, like you're an accountant and you stated it all in stats and statistics, you're not going to get laid. That's fair to say. Um, a good story, you know, has some spice to it. The events themselves are spicy enough, but, I, I, but it's mostly the ending, so I try and kind of keep it entertaining up until to the ending. Um... But all of them, apart from the fact that I've embellished some details here and there, are true. I've not made them up for the, the sake of... I don't know what the sake would be for making up a story in story time. Hmm. And the people who are stated in the story time, you're never going to hear their names. Because, like... Honestly, I don't want to find out that one of you is actually uh, a secret agent hitman 
who takes umbrage with some of the things that these story time people have done and then hunts me down and hunts down my friend online and tries to harass them so it's not good for anyone for that kind of shit to happen right I, I don't want to be naive you know I'm sure there are people out he there who are real shitheads and I don't want to be sharing my details to just every random person especially not about my my real life so this kind of content I'm going to continue to create where I just splurt out anything that's on my mind and it's not necessarily going to be edited and I'm not going to put a whole lot of effort into the thumbnails, the tags, or the titles or anything um, just so that I can continue to produce content on a regular basis and it also helps as well because you know sometimes I've got to go on you know a holiday or I've life's getting busy or, or something like that and I've got to produce content but it can't be as highly curated as the rest of my content so hence this will be created or sometimes I I run into a, a spot in the game oh shit I just made a realization I had an epiphany it was the light bulb moment so I'll run into a spot in a game where I'm stuck and I can't if I were to produce a video on it, it would be so fucking boring that no one would watch it. Which is most of my content, to be fair, but you know, sometimes I do curate and I realize, oh shit, none of this is interesting, I have to do more recordings. And I don't want to kind of go through that. Uh, so what I'm going to do instead is if I hit a wall, like I have with Sunless Skies, where I still need to produce content for it, but the content that I am producing is not interesting enough for a video, I'm going to create this real talk series where I just talk about shit and ramble, podcast style, uh, do more of a soliloquy actually because there's no one else here to talk to. Uh, so the epiphany I had before I forget, see I don't know if I have undiagnosed ADHD or ADD but I sometimes I just go on these massive tangents and I seem to forget where I'm at which is what makes videos so fucking difficult is I tend to stop talking about the topic that I mean to talk about about two seconds into talking about the topic to talk about something else. I just can't stay focused. I'm like a, a dog that's just too excitable. Yapping and nipping at people and jumping up and down, side to side, back and forth. Anyway, what was I talking about? Yeah, so this epiphany that I had. Uh, no, what was it? Yes. <clears throat> so if I'm going to do a puzzle game, I figured out how to do it. I'ma do it kind of like this series where I just produce as much content as I can for it, but then when I reach a dead end, I'm gonna just do one of these real talks videos. And that should suffice. You get to just see me mindlessly attempt puzzles over and over again. Because that's what puzzle games are sometimes. It's just a matter of trial and error and just doing different shit until the answer just pops up um, so I, I could do that and just with the real talks format it would work oh, good so I'm up for puzzle games now hooray solve that problem it's deceptive man I swear that was not the whatever would I be averse to doing other forms of content like branching out you know I would not I'd love to do some some book reviews some movie reviews I don't want to be too here we go just a little bit of lag no worries um, I don't want to be too ambitious at the moment we, we got to at least like establish uh, at, like the first thing you've got to do with anything in life is just establish a routine that works. Before you do the ambitious shit, like it's stepping stones, right? I got to establish at least six months of videos to show, to prove to myself that I can do it and that I can hold a schedule of doing videos before I, I start to, to do more shit. So I'm going to do at least six months of videos before I move into other formats um, of content. The only thing really holding me back from 
doing other forms of content is A, that, B, other f forms of content take a lot of time and effort and editing, and I don't know much about the copyright system yet. Like, I might have to do more research on that first to make sure that if I'm to use clips from other, say, movies or shows, that they are indeed uh, good to be used. Because uh, I, I want to, you know, get monetized at some point in my life. I'd be, it would be fucking fantastic if this, this could become a living for me. What are the other topics I wanted to talk about? Yeah, so the, the other formats of videos I really wanted to do for a while. Like as a kid, back in like 2012, all the way up to at least 2015. I really wanted to do reviews of games and books and movies and that kind of thing. You know, inspired by uh, Red Letter Media, the Nostalgia Critic, those kinds of YouTubers. I just never really got round to it. And here I am now, and I have a YouTube channel. I, th I mean, the only thing stopping me is me. So just fucking do it, man. So I make an oath to do more of that shit. But it's not going to be like an Angry Joe movie review where I kind of just sit in front of a, a screen and do a, a real talks. No. Uh, this, this is going to be more of a Matthew Matosis where I, I produce one video for it every six months. Holy shit, I am Matthew. I produce um, videos for games no one gives a fuck about. And it takes me three to six months to do so. So I'm becoming Matthew Matosis. That's, that's my plan. I'm going to, every three months or so, produce a review for a game. Maybe I'll take a look at a book or a, a movie. Something like that and kind of pick at it. Where do I see this channel being in three years? It's a, a good thought exercise to see what I really want from this channel. Uh, in three years, I want to have a quite good catalogue of completed games, a couple of reviews, um, some longer form content that's analytical in nature, movies and that kind of thing. Um, I want to really broaden it out to kind of do a lot of things. And, like, at most, I expect a hundred thousand, if that. I don't think this is, like, a big channel. The big channels are the, the PewDiePie's and the... The Elsa porn with Spider-Man pregnant. Um, something that attracts a younger demographic. Uh, not this... I don't think my channel is any of that. I think it's probably niche. But I would like it to be in three years, three to five years, uh, maybe a hundred thousand. And earn some kind of revenue. If, if I actually get popular, I would set up a PayPal and chill myself like there's no tomorrow. Because I love doing this content and you know, this this beats having a job flipping burgers, so um, I'd love to do it. So I kind of want to do content that's uh, different. Because, you know, I saw an opportunity with Hearthstone, because Hearthstone was really the first content that people really paid attention to for me with the Waste of Dust series. I have this... Uh, Mech Paladin video that's been going off, man. I don't know what did it. I think I just I had trouble with the thumbnail because it was such an odd thumbnail. And I, I really wanted to put in do not craft, but it just finding the way to do that was fucking difficult, man. But I think in finding it, I found a a quite unique thumbnail that seemed to to work for people. I don't know what it is. I can't explain. It's it's like magic. It either just works or it or the magician's passed out drunk in the back of the studio 
and it just ruins the child's dreams. So that's kind of it. What was I talking about? See, it's that that aside thing again. See how <coughs> how I just go off and uh, yes, yeah, so I, I want to create different content and not just get. Oh, that's that's what I was saying. Yes. So, Waste of Dust was the first series that kind of attracted views, and it actually attracted an audience. I got a subscriber from that. Um, good on you if you're watching this video. I love you, man. A woman. Could be a woman, too. Um, but I don't want to just do that. I don't want to have the pressure of of being forced to do something that I may eventually hate. So you can see my stance on marriage. It's just... I, I feel like Hearthstone's a good game, but if I'm forced to... to cr forcing myself to do things, even when I really don't enjoy them anymore, What's the point of me doing these videos, you know? Because I, I like doing these videos, and it's a, a good hobby at the moment. And if I'm not enjoying it, I suppose it's that age old problem of, um, Do I take the job for money, or do I take it for passion? And I'm really a passion kind of guy. I'm, I'm in love with the one night stands. I like to spend a little bit of time on something and then move on. F having finished it to a standard that I approve of. Um, that's just me. I think that's just about all I need to cover today. The state of the channel, what I plan to do with it, what you're going to be seeing if you uh, continue to come along with me for this journey. Uh, where I plan on going in the next 10 years. What kind of channel I want to have. Oh my god. What kind of channel I'll become. Who this channel is suited for. Um... Damn, we covered a, a fair few topics today, didn't we? So yeah, thank you a whole lot for, for joining me for this just random whatever this is. I hope you found something from it. I hope to see you again in one of my videos. Uh, and I hope to see you on this, this YouTube journey sometime. Okay, everyone, take care.